11 minutes, someone is dying from opioid addiction, and for many, that addiction started because of prescription painkillers. Millions of Americans live with chronic pain, so how else can you treat it? Dr. Suyun An is a leading physician in regenerative medicine and is helping patients in Houston drastically reduce their pain. Please welcome Dr. An back to Great Day. She's the director of Campbell Medical Group. Also with us are her patients, Mariah Sanchez and Warren Reese. All right. One thing that has happened with the whole opioid addiction when people got their you know, the prescription drugs and then kind of just spun off into addiction was we were forced to really look at those um, protocols that are available to us that don't involve surgery or pain medication. Right. A lot of those patients, I've been reading a lot about it, mm -hmm. and if you ask them how they started taking these medicine, it was to try to control some kind of pain that didn't respond to any other type of medicine, such as pain medicine or even surgery. Yeah. And uh, they end up, as you said, spiraling out and become addicted to it. Yeah, and then the thing is, if you're taking medication to cover up pain, you're not really addressing the key issue. Right, absolutely, and there's even a study that says opioid medicine, when taken on a long term, actually ends up increasing the pain as well, too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these patients who's been taking it for a very long time, they're terrified of stop taking it. Yeah, and they yeah. take more and more and more right. and more and more. Right. All right, Mariah, what was the source of your pain? Well, I had a lot of pain in my back and my neck. I had a herniated disc in my back and I had back surgery mm -hmm. before I met Dr. On. Well, I knew God had something better for me because I have, it in, I have a herniated disc in my neck as well. And so I uh, did not want to do the surgery. I came to see Dr. On. Yeah, and Dr. On, this is like, th these are problematic areas that the back and the neck, sometimes surgeries can work. There are some laser things that are available, but what you're doing is cell therapy, yeah. and that's a whole game changer. Right, so instead of masking the symptoms, so you don't feel the problem while it's actually getting worse, this type of treatment actually heals the damaged part of the body and makes your body heal itself better and reduces inflammation. And I love that, the body working with the body. Right. Okay, we'll get more details on how that happens in a second, but Warren, what kind of pain were you dealing with? Well, I was having some issues with my shoulder and uh, exercised for years and until I started doing an ab roller did I recognize that my left shoulder was starting to create pain more and more and each time it got more severe. So as a result, then uh, I looked into the uh, cell therapy and uh, went to one of Dr. An's seminars yeah. and then uh, was convinced that I wanted to give that a shot. Yeah, and, and, and how did it work for you? Oh, uh, uh, you said it, it's a game changer. Wow, wow, and for you, Mariah? Same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the source of a lot of people's pain, sometimes it can be an injury, sometimes it's just aging. Uh, we have arthritis that can be introduced in there as well. So who should come in to look at cell therapy and for what kinds of, of, of pain? Anybody that's been dealing with chronic pain that didn't respond, people that have exhausted traditional medicine such as a drug, surgeries, or even physical therapy, or people who wants to avoid surgery or does not want another surgery like was the case with Miss Mariah. Yeah, because in a case with me on my shoulder, mm -hmm. he says I can go in there and clean out some scar tissue. Mm -hmm. But my concern was when you cut and go in there to clean out scar tissue, you create more, more scar, scar tissue, tissue right? Right, right? And so for, for me, it just, it, I, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm shocked at how it works. Right. Because we, we can't believe if, if it's not a, a pill or a surgery, we right. can't believe it works. Give us the science behind cell therapy. Science behind the cell therapy, a lot of people mistakenly think that when you get this kind of treatment, you're gonna mysteriously poof grow a new joint the next day. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not exactly how that works. Um, these cells, they are sourced from a young, uh, healthy donors mm -hmm. who are going through birth. So they come from the umbilical cord of uh, a healthy labor. So these tissues, when are put in the body, it actually helps your body behave younger and may even donate its mitochondria, reduces inflammation, and basically makes your body heal itself better. Yeah, it's almost like making it new again. Right. And you're yeah. not only someone who performs this, you believe this because it happened with you too. Yes, I was the very first person to receive this type of treatment patient in my office. Patient zero. Yes. <laughs> I always tell the patient I'm not just the president, but I'm also the member. Yeah. And uh, I was uh, recommended a shoulder re shoulder surgery for a uh, dislocation and the uh, labrum tear that I had and uh, I was able to avoid the sh shoulder surgery using this type of treatment. Yeah, all right, so you have a book, Demystifying Stem Cells, a relative or a real life approach to regenerative medicine. Because when we say regenerative medicine, again, I think we've gotten away from that kind of medicine for so long, right. but coming back to it because we realize that just covering up a symptom is not going to take care of the problem. Absolutely, so this is why this type of treatment is very attractive 
because I think healthcare consumers are tired of just trying the same thing, taking the same medicine that has many side effects such as a liver failure, kidney failure, mm -hmm. and heart problem. A lot of people don't realize that the number one cause of side effect of all these pain medicine is actually heart problem. Uh, there was a Germany study that came out, even taking Advil for more than two weeks, your chance of developing heart attack goes up 50%. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. So for someone who's sitting there going, okay, I'm popping another pill, or some people are just grin and bear it with the pain, what do you have to say to them? And what was the recovery like? I am still recovering because I'm midway in my, um, st my cell therapy. Yeah, but you already but noticed a difference. I notice a huge difference. I have no pain in my arm anymore. Yeah, she was doing back was going, in the green room this morning. I actually. was. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I had a lot of pain down my left arm and it's it's diminishing. Uh, my fingers are coming back. I'm just so excited. I wish I would have met her before. The right, surgery. right, right. All right. Well, um, after I went and had a doctor um, x-ray it, it recognized the fact that it was um, full of uh, osteoarthritis and that by doing this, after a few days, all of a sudden I could feel uh, the pain subside, just a resting of my shoulder, just I would have to constantly move it because it would start aching. Yeah. And after a couple of days, that went away. Uh, and it's been progressively better ever since. Yeah, yeah. All right, and and th like we said, this is great because a lot of times, especially with the arthritis and stuff, people are told there's not really much we can do outside of some medications, and so um, this is a, a better way to do it. So she said she wished she had come to you to begin with. I know you mentioned you want people to exhaust some other things first, right. but are there cases where someone would just start with stem this or, or, or cell therapy? Well. I think, well, there are cases of people that come too late. So yeah. after we do an evaluation, take an x-ray, and if they are really degenerative, then we tell the patient that I don't think this is going to work for you, and maybe you should go that sur surgical route. Right. Uh, but uh, people jump into surgery too quickly, quite yeah. often. Yeah. Yeah. So, and when we take care of a patient who's had a surgery in one part of the body, and we end up taking both of them, and quite often the part of the body that had the surgery heals slower and responds not as good as the other part the that hadn't therapy. had the yeah. surgery. And again, yeah. the recuperation period from cell therapy is basically... Uh, we tell the patient, advise the patient to rest, and uh, rest that part of the body for two to four weeks. But for vast majority of our patients, there is really no downtime. Yeah. Uh, they're able to resume the normal activity that they normally do almost right away. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. The first 20 callers who mentioned Great Day Houston will get a free consultation. Call Campbell Medical Group at this number, 832-460-1880, 832-460-1880. Four six zero eighteen eighty, and for more information, log on to CampbellMedicalGroup.com.